Okay. We can start our lesson now. Bernard, I think we can start, right? Yes, please. We are already recording. Okay, please. Fine. Thank you. Uh, we thank God for this. Uh, we are for his providence and for everything which has done for us. Let us have our lesson started. And we are going to start this lesson with the, an opening prayer. Salvador Pavin, can you pray for us? Pavin. Salvador Pavin. Pavin, can you unmute and you pray for us? Yes, sir. Can you Good pray Good afternoon. For us? Good afternoon. Oh, Lord, we thank you. I'm good. Oh, Lord, Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We hand our teacher into your hands. We pray that whatever is going to teach us, we can get it in, into our heads. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for that wonderful prayer. Uh, let me share my screen with you so that at least uh, we get started. Let me share my screen with you so that uh, we get started. Uh, Bernard, allow me to share my screen so that we get started. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, my name is Peter Daniel Alira. For those who have just joined today, uh, we are still under quadratic equation. This is our third lesson. We saw how to find form quadratic equation when you're given the roots. Uh, that is, if the roots are alpha and beta, then we can easily form that quadratic equation. Lesson number two, we saw how to find some values given the some condition. If alpha and beta are the roots of any given equation, then we can find alpha squared plus beta squared. We can find alpha two plus beta two, which I expect you to be knowing right now. We can find any other value as long as we have been given alpha beta. Today, we are going to see how to form quadratic equation from the given equation. You are given a quadratic equation, but then you are requested again to form another equation from that very quadratic equation. So that means we shall be having two equations here. We shall be having that quadratic equation itself and another quadratic equation which you are supposed to form. So that's what you're going to discuss today. You have been given a quadratic equation, then you're going to use that very quadratic equation to form other quadratic equation. That's what we're going to discuss today. But before we do that, I want us to remember very well, I want us to recall this very well, that in the last lesson, we saw, can I see those who attended the last lesson by show of hands? If you attended the last lesson, can you raise up your hand? I see you. The last lesson. Yes, I see Quinton attended. Quinton. I see Imi attended. Hey, there are those who attended the lesson. Yes, if you remember very well, we saw these important notes and we derived them. And that first important note was alpha squared plus beta squared, which is the same as alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. We also saw alpha minus beta, but what is squared, which is alpha plus beta squared minus four alpha beta. We saw even the proof. We saw number three, we saw number four, five, and six. So while we are dealing with the forming quadratic equation from any given quadratic equation, we need these six important notes. We also shall be using them. How are we going to use them? We are yet to see in this example. So this part, these notes are very important. You have to take them serious. I believe you have already copied them in your book. 
you also sent them in Google Classroom plus the exercise. Good. Let's see how do we deal with this now. Uh, if I'm given, if I'm already given, uh, let me pick a pen here. If I've been given the equation, I have the equation already, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals what? Zero. If I've been given this equation, x squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, and they say that alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. I told you how to interpret this. If I've been given the equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, and the roots are, the roots are alpha and beta. Then that has its own implication. It implies that the sum of the roots, which is alpha plus beta, is going to be equals to, remember we divide O through by A, O through by A, to make the coefficient of X squared here one. So sum of the roots will be negative B over A, and the product of the root, that is alpha beta, is the same as C over A. This is the implication. If I say that this equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, the roots are alpha and beta. That means that the sum of the roots, which is alpha plus beta, and plus beta is negative b over a. Then the product of the root, that is alpha times beta is c over a. Now, if they want us to find the equation, if they want us to find, if required is to find the equation, find the equation whose roots are, whose roots are, let's say alpha plus one and beta plus one. If I'm to find the equation whose roots are alpha plus one and beta plus one, then I do the following. I first say that equation is given by x squared minus sum of what is of x, then plus the product equals what is equals to zero. That equation is given by x squared minus sum of x plus the product equals what is zero. So if they want an equation, then I need to know the sum of the roots of those equations. I need to know the product of the roots of those equations. Now this equation is what you want. But the roots are supposed to be alpha plus one and beta plus one. So what I do, I first get the sum of those roots. Sum of the roots will be alpha plus one, then plus. The second root is beta plus one. So you can see we have alpha can add up to beta. So we shall have alpha plus beta. Then one will add up to one. So you get plus what is plus two. But don't forget that our alpha plus beta was negative b over a. So that means that the sum, the sum is going to be, instead of writing alpha plus beta, I write negative b over a. So this is negative b over a, but plus 20, plus two. Good, we have got the sum. We also need the product. So the product will be the product product of the roots. Remember the first root was this. So it was alpha plus one. We multiply by the second root, which is beta plus one. That's the product. So we shall have this alpha times beta. That is alpha beta plus alpha times one. That is alpha plus one times beta, that is beta, 
then plus one times this, this is positive one. So we shall get alpha beta plus into bracket alpha plus beta, then plus one. Alpha beta, we have it as C over A. C over A plus alpha plus beta was negative B over A. Negative B over A, then plus one. This is the sum, I mean the product of the root. Then from there, we substitute now. Remember the equation is X squared minus sum of the root times what is times x then plus the product equals what is equals to zero. So we shall have x squared minus sum. Remember our sum was this. It is negative b over a plus two plus times x plus the product, which is this one, shall have c over a plus negative b over a plus one should be equal to what is should be equal to zero. So this will be the equation whose roots are alpha plus beta and beta plus alpha. But from this given equation, it is from this given equation. So the equation is given as alpha squared plus beta squared plus C. I mean, A squared plus B X plus C equals to zero and the roots are alpha and beta, then I can get any equation whose roots are in terms of alpha and beta. Is that clear, members? Uh, Tidita says, hello everyone, I'm new here, so I'm very confused, someone helped me. Uh, Tibita, we are studying sub math. If you're new, I expect you to be in sub math. And my name is Teacher Daniel Alera, uh, a teacher of sub math here. So feel free to ask any question where you're not understood. Our class is always the best. We interact, uh, we share knowledge, and we share our ideas. So feel free. Good. Rhoda says, teacher, may you repeat? Good, I can repeat that, uh, that right away. So let me first clear. So I've told you, if I have the equation, uh, let me say it is a x squared plus bx plus c equals what is zero, and the roots are alpha and what is and beta. The roots of these equations are alpha and beta. Remember, we first make sure the coefficient of x squared to be one. So you divide all through by a, so this is plus b over ax, then plus c over a, it gives us what is zero. So that means that the sum is the negative of this. So if the roots of this equation are alpha and beta, then that means that sum of the root, which is alpha plus what is, plus beta will be the same as negative b over a. Then the product of the root, which is alpha times beta, will be the same as c over a. So if required is to get the equation, if required is to find the equation, whose roots Ah, alpha plus one and beta plus what is plus one. So if you divide this get the equation whose roots are alpha plus one and beta plus one, you first get the sum of the roots of that equation. Sum of the roots will be the same as alpha plus one plus beta plus one, which is the same as alpha plus beta then plus what is plus two alpha plus beta we already have its value so alpha plus beta is already up here negative b over a negative b over a then plus what is plus two
Then after getting the sum, we get the what? In? We get the product of the root. Product is going to be alpha plus one into beta plus one. So when you do this, alpha times beta, that is alpha beta. Alpha times one, that is positive alpha. One times beta, that is positive beta. Then one times one, that is positive one. So we shall have alpha beta plus in the bracket alpha plus beta close plus one. But alpha beta, you already have it as C over A, we substitute. So this is the C over A plus alpha plus beta is negative B over A, negative B over A, then plus one. So this is our product. Now, the required equation is the equation whose roots are alpha plus one and beta plus one. So we have gotten the sum of the roots, we have gotten the product of the what of the root. So our equation becomes now x squared minus sum of what is of x then plus the product should be equal to zero. So we shall have x squared minus sum, sum of x, which is sum is this one, what we have just got as sum of the equation. So we have negative b over a plus two plus times x plus the product, which we have just got up here, which is C over A minus B over A plus one plus should be equal to what is, should be equal to zero as the equation. Hope is clear now. That's how we can get the equation from the given root. Is that clear members? Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Now, okay. I want also to hear yes. from my sister Rhoda. Rhoda? Yes, sir. Is it okay now? Yes. Oh, great. We go to the example now. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, there is example number one here, given that alpha and beta are the roots of the equation this. Find the equation whose roots are one over alpha plus one and one over beta plus one. So that means we need the sum of these roots and we need the product of these roots. We need the sum of these roots and we also need the product of these roots. Alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. Find the equation whose roots are, we need the sum first, then we need the what? In? The product. Then, this equation, product. which has said that the roots are alpha, the roots are alpha and beta. That one will help us to first get alpha plus beta, and then the value of alpha what is alpha beta. So we shall first get the value of alpha plus beta in terms of p and q, and also get the, the value of alpha beta still in terms of p and q. So we shall come and get the sum of these roots. We also get the product of these roots, and then we substitute in the expression x squared minus sum of x, then plus the product to be equal to what is to be equal to zero. Let's see how it goes. We already have the equation. The equation has been given to us as x squared minus p x plus two equals what is zero. The same the roots are alpha and beta. So if the roots are alpha and beta, that means that sum is alpha plus beta. I want somebody to give me the answer. 
And then the product, the product is alpha beta. What is the sum of these roots? If the roots, I mean, if the equation is x squared minus px plus 2 equals to 0, and the roots are alpha and beta, what will be alpha plus beta and alpha beta in terms of T2? Can you raise up the hand? What will be alpha plus beta? Can you raise up the hand? Hello, hello. Yes, Corbin. I think the answer is P. Very good. Your thinking is very correct. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to enroll you in pure mathematics. <laughs> this is going to be P. And then what about alpha beta? What will it be equal to? Q. Very good. It's going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to two. Remember, our interest is to find the equation whose roots are the equation which is required. The one the equation whose roots are one over alpha plus one and one over beta plus one. I see some hands up. Yes, Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin. Your network is not clear, Benjamin. When the sum of alpha and beta, when this negative P. And the value of alpha plus beta, negative P. Remember the general equation is x squared minus sum. This is the general expression, x squared minus sum of x, then plus the what? Plus the product equals to zero. So if this is minus, and this is our minus, so we take the sum only as the positive value. Positive value. Is that okay, Benjamin? No. It's fine. I'm good. I'm okay, good. okay, please. Okay, please. Vivian, Vivian, can you unmute Vivian? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, I'm okay. For me, I didn't understand how you get the sum and product. Okay. I'm going to repeat it for you. See how we get the sum and the product. Okay. Remember the equation is uh, AX squared. Okay. I mean, it was. Uh, So the equation was, it was x squared minus px plus two equals to zero. So you compare with, you compare with uh, x squared minus into bracket sum of x then plus the product equals what? Zero. Vian, if you compare this equation with this equation, what is the sum? Is it indeed P? Uh, 
Hello, Vian. Uh, yes. yes. Can it be? Yes. Remember the roots were alpha and what is and beta. So if those were the roots, that means that uh, alpha plus beta, which is the sum, it is positive what is positive p. Is that okay? Then what is the product? I see the product. Q. Very good. Have you got me now? Mm, yes, teacher. Thank good. you. Thank you. So alpha plus beta is P, alpha beta is two. Then we want the equation. We want the equation. We want the equation whose root whose root are one over alpha plus one and one over beta plus one. So what we do, we first get the sum of the root. We get the sum of the root, it's going to be one over alpha plus one, then plus one over beta plus one. We take the LCM, the LCM is alpha plus one into beta plus one. This by that, we get beta plus one, then plus alpha plus one. So the upper one will be alpha plus beta plus two. So you get alpha plus beta again plus two divided by the down part. We have alpha times beta. That is alpha beta. We have alpha times one, that is positive alpha. We have one times beta, that is positive beta. So we have one times one, that is positive one. So eventually we shall have alpha plus beta plus two over this is alpha beta, then plus yeah. into bracket alpha plus beta, again plus one. So from there, we can substitute now alpha plus beta, remember it was P, then alpha beta, it was two. So we shall have P, which is alpha plus beta plus two over q plus p plus one. This is our sum. Then from there, we get the product. We get the product. We get the product. The product of the root, which is going to be one over alpha plus one times one over beta plus one, which is going to be equal to one times one is one. One over, we multiply this, this is the, this by this, that is alpha beta uh, plus. This by this, this is alpha plus beta plus one. I see Rhoda with hands up, Rhoda. Um, so may you, please may you please repeat like that part where you've written, is it P plus two divided by Q plus P plus one? I've not understood yes. it. But have you understood up to here? Yeah, up to where you've marked up, understood it. Yes, but I see this is alpha plus beta. Yes, sir. Which is equal to what from here? I oh, see. yes, sir. Then I see this is alpha beta. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Have you got me now? Oh, yes, sir. 
Okay, now you're going to tell us the answer to this, okay? <laughs> this is the alpha beta plus, this is alpha plus beta, again plus one. Uh -huh. Can you tell us what will it be? It be one out of Q. Good. One divided by Q mm -hmm. plus P. Plus P plus one. Very good, very good. That means you have fit it well, okay? So we now know the product. I see now we know the product order and we know the sum. Is that okay? Yeah. So we substitute now the required equation. The required equation. It's going to be equal to x squared minus sum of what? Sum of x plus the what? Plus the product equals to zero. Is that okay? So this will be x squared minus in the bracket sum. You can see our sum is here. Our sum is p2, I mean p plus 2 over q plus p plus one. I close this one, but I have x plus the product. A product is just right up here, which is one over two plus p plus one. This is our product, should be equal to what is? Should be equal to zero. Is that okay, Rhoda? Yes, sir. Is it very fine? Uh -huh. Pavin, is that fine, Pavin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, great. What about Anna? Is everything okay, Anna? Yes. Oh, great, great, great. So that's how you can go about with such equation, okay? Yes. Good, good, good. Let's look at EG number two. Uh, let's look at example number two. Fine. Hope you can see on my screen. I see able to see the, the question. Are you able to see? Yes. Find the equation whose roots are alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. Given that, the root of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero are alpha and beta. Are we able to see on the, are we able to see the question? Hello? Are we able to see the question? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. So, uh, we have this, and uh, find the equation whose roots are alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one, given that the roots of this one. We start from this given equation. This one is given and they are alpha and beta. So we have been given ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. And the roots are alpha and 
beta. Can I get somebody to give me alpha plus beta in this case? What is alpha plus beta in this case? Can you raise up the hand? What is alpha plus beta in that case? Yes, Benjamin. It is B. It is B. Yes, Benjamin. It is B. Yes. Okay. Let me hear from Lighton. Lighton. It's B out of A. B no, only. Neg negative B out of A. Very good, very good. So A plus B is negative B out of A. Then what about alpha beta? What will it be equals to? Let me pick Pavin. Out of A. Sorry? C out of A. Very good. This will be C out of what? Out of A. I like that. Now, they want us to find the equation whose roots are alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. So if they want that, they want the equation. But that equation, the roots are alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. So what you do, you first get the sum of the what? Sum of the root, which is going to be alpha squared plus one. What is the sum of the roots here? Who can give it to me? What will be the sum of the roots there? You can raise up the hand. Let me first lower all the hand. Uh -huh. What will be the sum of the roots? Raise up the hand. Please, what will be the sum of the roots? The equation which is alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. What will be the sum of the roots? I'm waiting for the hands up. Oh my God. Hello? <laughs> you raise up the hand. Hello? Yes, Pavin? I think that it's alpha squared plus alpha beta plus two alpha beta. Okay. I thank you for trial. Let's hear from another person. We have the roots are alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. So what will be our sum of the roots? What is the sum of the roots? Yes, light on. I think it will be alpha beta plus four alpha beta plus two. Okay. Uh, you can give me the general expression after expanding. Let me hear from Amy. I think it will be alpha plus beta squared plus two. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Is there anyone who has not talked and wish to talk? Okay, fine. We shall see. The sum is the roots are this one, alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. So the sum will be this first root plus the second root, which is plus beta RT, beta squared. So in this case, you can see we can combine this and this. So you combine this and this, you shall have alpha squared plus beta squared. So please, this is plus one. So we shall have this, Alpha squared plus one plus beta squared plus one. It gives us alpha squared plus one plus beta squared plus one. But this can combine with this. When this combine with this one, I get alpha squared plus beta squared, then plus two. But 
But alpha squared plus beta squared, we already saw it. What was the expression for alpha squared plus beta squared? Who can remind us? Expression for alpha squared plus beta squared. Uh -huh. What do you get, Emily? Emily, Emily? Alpha plus beta into bracket squared. Very good. Let me write it, wait. So that means the sum continues to be alpha plus beta into bracket squared. Uh-huh. Plus two. Sorry? Plus two. Plus two. You've forgotten something, Amy. Plus alpha beta. Okay. It's fine. Because you wanted alpha, alpha squared, alpha squared plus beta squared. What is it equal to? Then, of course, you shall add two to it. What do we get? Yes, members. When you do this, this one we saw in our note. Important note to say this alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. Was it did like that, Imi? Imi? Yes. Was it did like that? I've remembered it was like that. Okay, okay, please. So that means you would write. So that means this will be alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. But remember there's this plus two. So it'll be plus what is plus two. So alpha plus beta, we already have its value. Alpha plus beta is this. So it is negative B over A but squared minus two into alpha beta Alpha beta is C over A close plus two. So this will be like a B squared over A squared minus two C over A plus 30 plus two. This is the sum only. Then from there, we can get the product. Yes, Rhoda. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes, Rada. I thought, excuse me, sir. I thought that when, like, the two is in the two is the two that is outside the brackets multiplies both the products inside the brackets. But you multiply the denominator. I think I'm re inquiring. The denominator, okay. Yeah, it multiplies only the denominator. Is that okay? Only the denominator or the numerator? The numerator. Ah. Why doesn't it multiply the denominator also? It's like if I say 2 times 3 over 5. Uh, we have 2 over 1. So this multiplies up and this one multiplies down, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, too. So now we get the product. We get the product. The product will be a uh, product of the roots. Remember the roots were alpha squared plus beta squared. Alpha squared plus one and beta squared plus one. So the product, let me first clean something.
So we get the product now. The product is going to be equal to alpha squared plus one into uh, beta squared plus one. So we multiply this, this will be uh, alpha squared times beta squared, that is alpha squared beta squared. Alpha squared times one, that is alpha squared. One times beta, that is beta squared. One times one, that is positive one. So you shall get alpha beta, this one is okay. You can put them in the bracket squared. Plus, when you look at this, it is the same thing which we had here. So it is like alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. That is this one alone. Then plus what? Then plus one. So we already have these values. Remember our alpha beta was C over A. It will be C over A squared plus alpha plus beta was negative B over A, but still we are squaring it. Then minus two into alpha beta, which is C over A, then plus one. So we shall have C squared over A squared plus B squared over A squared minus two C over A plus one as the product. Is that clear? No. What is not clear? Um, so on the third last step, like the equation that you wrote. Third last step. Where does the two alpha, the third this one, yeah. Where does the two alpha beta plus one come from? Okay, it is from here. I see this is alpha squared plus beta squared. Hello? Yes, sir. This is alpha yes, sir. plus I can see. Squared, right? What is this expression? Yes, sir. Is it alpha squared plus, I mean, is it alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta? Yes. Yes, sir. Is it that? Yes, sir. It mm. is. You get, you get this one, no, sir? Uh. Then plus this one, that is why you have plus the one. Is that fine? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, too. So we have the product and we have the what? We have the sum already. So having the product and the sum, we can easily now get the what? We can easily get the equation. So we come and write our equation is x squared minus sum of what is of x plus the product equals what is zero. So we shall have x squared minus sum. We had it already here, it's this one. It was b squared over a squared minus two c over a plus two but times x. Then plus, the product is here, which is c squared over a squared plus b squared over a squared minus two c over a plus one to be equal to zero. This is the equation. And unfortunately, there's a serious rain this side. That's why it has disturbed me in the background. So, uh, if there's no more question, is there anybody with any question before we end the lesson? Yes, Benjamin? Master. Hey. Master. Yes, please. 
on the side of the farm, yeah? There is, oh. there is negative in the back, there is negative out of air. Oh, wait, I can't hear you, it's okay. Let's end from there, and we shall continue from there in the next lesson. I'm going to send exercises on our group, I mean, on Google Classroom. Make sure you're there and you answer it very well. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate your presence. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Nice lunch. Thank you, so cousin. Make sure you do the work. Make sure you do the exercise. Yes, Mr. Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Yes, Mr. Bernard. Can you unmute Bernard? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? How was the lesson? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The serious way you can tell me, eh? Okay. I think uh, let's rest and then we prepare for other sessions. Well done. Have a great day. Okay, please. Fine. Thank you. Mm.